Hoopla! This is your friendly neighborhood man in magenta wig, and it is the final day of A Week in the Wig. Seven days straight of video blogs from me, your friendly neighborhood man in magenta wig. Now first and foremost, I just want to say thank you to everyone who supported this little experiment of mine. Now, to be honest, if I learned anything from this past week, it's that I'm probably not cut out to be a daily vlogger. You see, the last week has pretty much been nothing but uh, working at my job and editing these videos. You know, I've cut out everything else so I could get these up on time. So would I do another seven days straight of Man of Magenta Wig videos? Probably not, at least not any time in the near future. But it was an enjoyable experience for me, I hope all of you got some enjoyment out of it as well, and it was nice to wear the wig once again, since I haven't in a, quite a while, I think. You know, it, it seems like Man of Magenta Wig doesn't rear his head that often anymore. Since we have been on this little seven-day adventure together, I thought I at least should be honest and tell you that recently I've been kind of on the fence about the future of Man of Magenta Wig. You know, I'm not quite sure it works. I'm trying to tweak it a little bit, trying to see what makes people happy, trying to see what makes me happy. And hopefully I can find a happy medium somewhere in there. But in the meantime, there will be Man of Magenta Wig videos as well as just plain Steve, that guy, hopefully entertaining you, informing you, and enlightening you in this big crazy world we call YouTube. So you might be wondering, since this is the last episode of A Week in the Wig, what will you be doing today? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm going to revisit my favorite video from this week, and we're going to play another game of What's in My Drawers? We're going to take another peek into this giant wacky stack of papers to see if we can find anything interesting that I missed the last time. Oh, I remember this. I pulled this advertisement out of a magazine. See this guy? Yeah. I pulled this out because I thought he looked like a real-life version of the King of Town from Homestar Runner. <laughs> now, speaking of Tom Petty, since I mentioned him in the video yesterday, around that time when the uh, You Don't Know How It Feels incident took place, I was actually a member of the Tom Petty fan club. Um, I have a few of these around somewhere. These were the uh, newsletters you got every couple months. Well, that's completely random. I wonder what I have this for. It's just a nice picture of magenta. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this was fun to put together. So back in the 80s, uh, Weird Al put out a book called The Authorized Al, which was, which was sort of a fake biography, just completely fabricated the story of his career. Well, since I couldn't find a copy of it back in junior high, uh, you could actually go online. Hmm, something just fell out. You could actually go online to this one website and get a PDF copy of it, and probably much to the chagrin of my parents' printer. <laughs> So I'm sure this used plenty of ink. I actually printed the entire book in full color. Oh, this is cool. This is a, a picture of a, I think it was a playwright from Shakespearean times named Ben Johnson. And the reason he's kind of gotten notoriety recently is because he looks mysteriously like the fourth doctor, complete with the curly hair. Hollywood theater ad. Always got to work in a plug for my Hollywood theater. This is interesting. This was a little um, self-esteem building exercise I must have done at some point. It's, it's basically a list of what I feel are my best qualities. Now, oh, let, let's see here. I'm always a hardworking employee. Yeah, okay, I try. I'm not gonna, not gonna argue that. I'm intelligent. Not, again, I try. Questionable. I have badass audio editing skills. Okay, I have audio editing skills. Whether they're badass or not, I don't know. Might have been coming on a little strong there, but again, I try. Add for a red green tour. This man will not come to Pittsburgh for some reason. You know, if you don't come to Pittsburgh, how am I gonna learn to keep my stick on the ice? This is truly bizarre. A odd little piece of, uh, they might be Giants fan art I made at some point. You see that on camera? Yeah. John Flansburg and the Chocolate Factory. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh look, there's another picture of little baby me playing a keyboard. Oh, it's a crayon drawing of Strong Bad and the Cheat. Oh, this is a little smudgy, but it's a pencil drawing of the, uh, the cover of the Beach Boys Smile. Another ad for a red-green tour. Look, look at all these tour dates. 
No Pittsburgh. No Pittsburgh, Red. Come on. Didn't make this, but I'm glad I found it. It's a He-Man Valentine. Oh, here's an ad for a concert I went to. Now, as a Pittsburgher, I always said I wouldn't feel like a true Pittsburgher unless I saw Donny Iris live. And this is the ad from the time I did indeed see Donny Iris. I have to admit, though, I did go down Donny Iris looking like a Jagoff. I just didn't have the time to get the pants in at. Yeah, this is cool. This is uh, Barry Nelson, the guy that played the uh, original James Bond. Now, this this isn't a promotional picture from his Bond film, um, as far as I know. I don't think this is from Casino Royale. But if you ever wanted a good picture of him looking like James Bond, this is this is definitely a perfect picture. Who in the world is this? I think I think I was trying to draw Morris Gibb from the Bee Gees, if I remember correctly. Never finished it though. What's this? It's all folded up here. Oh, check this out. This is a, um, a collage I made of uh, all the Pokemon versions uh, up to probably like seven years ago, maybe. And there's a lot of a uh, lot of like the pirate bootleg versions on there too. All right, so it looks like we're running out of interesting stuff in that stash, so I think it's about time we bring this video to an end. I know you just wish a week in the wig could just go on and on and on, but thankfully, Tusky Shitsky, it's not gonna. So once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone who's supported me for the last seven days. I am your friendly neighborhood man of magenta wig. I will hopefully continue to be your friendly neighborhood man of magenta wig. I will continue making videos. I don't know when the next one will be. I do have one I'm working on now, so hopefully that will be up in the next couple weeks or so. But for now, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good night if you're watching this in the evening. Stay warm out there because it's colder than shit right now. And goodbye and hope to see you soon.